This is the merging of the pavement management systems, the existing one with a newer rendition. This is, of course, the Ragic version as put together by our Public Works guys. Um, what I'm going to be doing in this video is downloading their data from Ragic and trying to correlate it with our GIS data. So Ragic allows us to download an Excel document, a CSV more specifically. Uh, I just downloaded it to my desktop. I'm going to give it a clever name so I know which one it is. Just road segment report the date. And then there's a lot of good data in the Ragic system. Uh, so is there in the GIS system, which looks like this. Right now I have it dumbed down, but I went through each of these 800 segments and put in a unique ID for each one of them and also linked it over back to the Ragic link. That'll just allow us to get to the Ragic site from clicking on a road segment in a future web map. But what we're going to do now to blend the data is look at those common fields. So the, the common field is going to be the unique ID that each road segment has. It has one in here in the GIS and that is derived from the Ragic data. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate through my pavement management tab and take in the road segment report, which I just extracted out of Ragic into ArcGIS here. I'm going to open this table. Um, this is all the same data from the other system. Uh, this is where I think the GIS really shines, so as to be able to take this data and give it a spatial context. What I'm looking for is that same unique ID that's going to link this table to my table in the GIS data. So here it is. This is the ID from the road segment report up to 556. I'm just going to select it, sort it. You know what, I'm going to highlight it too so that I remember that this is the important one. So this is the Ragic tabular data. Um, and then of course, the same unique ID from the spatial data in the GIS. There's value to each of these, but I think uh, the Ragic data really comes to life when we join it together. So what we're going to do is we're going to join the road segment report that we downloaded with our unique ID, which is of course called the field ID. And in GIS, I call it the unique ID. This will merge those two tables together. And then as soon as it does, all the Ragic data is then correlated back to the GIS data. So we're blending these two tables together. The, the GIS software is really the focal point of the blending here too and of course either of them can be imported or exported in into a standard format like something you would use in excel so now every piece of this ragic data now has a spatial component to it which it does not in the other system so one thing we can do here is go and look for the next maintenance date uh we're going to select all the ones that say next maintenance on 2022 this table will allow us to say, oh, there's 100 segments of road, according to the Ragic data that are selected. There they are on the map. That is how these two systems are blended. This is where I think the GIS shows you both the tabular data as well as the spatial data represented on the map. I'm just going to get rid of this so that all the colors are the same and we can see the highlighted stuff for 2022 really popping on the map. This is the basic fundamentals of, of what GIS really is, where the geography meets the information. And of course, that's the system, all those things combined. This is how it starts. This is really phase one. Stay tuned for the next phase.